You know, I got this letter in the mail the other day from Josh in Winslow, Arizona. And uh, I get these letters, and I like to take the time to answer them when I do. But uh, it made me think about Winslow. Uh, Winslow is a nice little town. It's 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 kind of kind of this side of Flagstaff, and uh, it was made famous by that song. You know, I was a standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. It's such a fine sight to see. It's a girl. You know, you know that song. Well, I just had to see it. And so I went out to Winslow, and, and one thing that I really realized about Winslow right off is there ain't many corners in Winslow. So if you go out there, you won't have any trouble finding this corner. And there's kind of like a shrine there. It's kind of to the feller that wrote the song. And there's a statue of him. It's a bronze statue, and, and he's there with his guitar in his hand. And there's a flatbed Ford, big one, and, and a girl sitting in the truck like she's just waiting to pick him up. And, and if you look up in the window, Way up in the window, you'll see a little eagle up there. It's a stuffed eagle, of course. It's not real. And it's symbolizing the, the eagles who sung that song and probably made a lot of money when they done it. But uh, And there's a souvenir shop across the street. You can buy you know, shot glasses that say Winslow and standing on the corner and T-shirts and things like that. And I don't even know. I don't know if they do the airbrush T-shirts. That would be really nice if they'd done that. But um, anyhow, I went out there and, and, and had to check it out. And, and I'll tell you, if you go to Winslow, you don't want to miss this. There's a restaurant there called the Turquoise Room. And if you go to Winslow, you got to eat at the Turquoise Room. It's phenomenal. Tell them the Alabama Savant sent you, and they'll probably give you a free glass of water on me. But anyhow, I went out to Winslow and um, had a really nice time. It's a long drive. I thought about driving on up to the Grand Canyon, but once you've seen the corner, the Grand Canyon couldn't compare. There's just no way. But, I'm sorry, back to my letter here. It says, Dear Alabama Savant, that's me. I have just started dating, and I'm beginning to notice that girls seem to think and act differently than me and my guy friends. Can you explain the female psyche to me? Josh, from Winslow, Arizona. 